Hey guys, it's John here, Balcon Training and Supply. Um, I know it's been a while, things have been going on, but let's get back at this. Um, today, we're gonna, we're gonna tell a school bus backwards. And I know there's several different videos out there, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm not saying it's the only way, I'm just saying maybe it's another way. So, hope this helps, hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, let's get at it. Alright, the first thing we're going to look at, so we're going to check and see if this thing's got airbags. Um, it's one thing I've noticed with a couple things is everybody's grabbing them and nobody's checking the suspension. This one's got airbags, so we're going to want to dump the bags and chain that axle up. Just like on a tractor swap, a tandem axle tractor, you don't want to leave that, ax that axle hanging on the shock mounts and the airbags same thing can happen to this the same thing can happen to one of those you can rip the bags or you can break the shock bracket so let's get that done all right first thing i'm going to do is i always preach safety 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 may seem a little stupid redundant or ridiculous but i always like to take the under each and put it behind the bus or whatever i'm towing it's not on it, it's not touching, it's not lifting, and it won't hit when the suspension goes down. But if for some dumbass reason I pull something off underneath this bus and it decides to want to come backwards, my truck's going to catch it and it ain't going to run my ass over. The likelihood of that happen is probably slim to numb, but better safe than sorry, right? All right. I'm under the bus, I've got myself and a 3 8 chain. That's all I really need to get this thing hung up. All I'm going to do is pop one of those quick connects right up there, either off of the valve or off of the bag. And that way it'll dump the suspension. I don't want to mess with the adjustment on the leveling valve or anything like that. I just want to let all the air out of it so it'll dump. So I'm going to dump that, get the suspension to drop. I'm going to take my chain and we're going to go. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to go up and over the frame rail. I hope you guys can see that. And then, oh shit, I'm upside down. And then around that leaf spring thing and we're going to wrap the chain around it terminate it back to itself and that'll hold the axle up when we pick the tail in all right there we go i opted to pull the line off the leveling valve and let's see if we can make you see this chains going up and over the spring down the back side oh there we go now you can see I got it going between those U-bolts. It keeps that chain off that shock so you don't damage it. Try not to mess anything up. All right, now you can see when the suspension went down on this thing, the underreach was away. If something weird would have happened, it would have rolled back, it wouldn't have gone far. Now when you guys dump the air on these things, just be ready and don't be in the way because they drop fast pull an airline and it comes down so don't have don't have your hands or anything like that in the way so now we're under the back of it I've got my medium forks and my Omega rings so let's get the under each under here And get this thing hooked up. All right, so here's what I got, and here's why I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain to you why. So I've got my medium forks on, and I went with medium for a reason. Excuse me, freaking allergies. So a lot of people, well, you hit your hooks. Yes, you do. Oh, let's weed it through right there. 
I got the hooks right up against the back side of the underreach. I got it like that for a reason. We're gonna leave it there. That's gonna give us a stop point that way to sit up against for chaining and also it's gonna help ensure that our safety chains stay in the hole. So we're gonna leave it like this. We've got the forks all the way up against the frame rail and like I said, if you look at it, you can see, you can see those hooks up against it. We're not loading those hooks, we're just putting it up against it as kind of a block and I'll show you. All right, I got my Omega rings around it. Let's go this way. Got them coming. Okay, maybe you can see that. Around the frame rail, chokered. Back here, they're going around that cross member. Uh, let's see. Turn around the T-bar, back through it. There's kind of your overall view. Now I'm doing this with the tires still on the ground. All the tires are on the ground. My underreach is level. So we're going to go ahead and pick it up. If you look at it, it didn't change the angle. It didn't change our tension. It didn't make it any tighter or looser when we picked it up. I've got the ass end off the ground enough to tow it. Our hooks are still right there at the T-bar. So now we can do this. All right, now we can put our safety chains on right there. We can go right to that hook and they're not gonna be able to fall off. All right, I'm gonna show you the next three things that you need. You need your light bar, a bungee cord, and a ratchet strap. So the last three things that you need to tow one. Bungee cord, stop sign. They flip out and they break. Take your bungee cord. There's usually a little hole right here. Put your bungee in it. And just hook it somewhere there. It ain't gonna come out. You won't fold that thing backwards and break it. Light bar. You should have that one figured out by now. Hopefully. Ratchet strap. So, a lot of you guys, when you're rear towing stuff, you'll just use the seat belt. Don't do it. Use something else as well. Try and have two things on the steering wheel at all times. I know a guy that just had an incident not too long ago. He was using the ratchet strap. And one, one reason or another, the ratchet strap tore. Truck went sideways into a bus. Kind of tore a lot of stuff up. Um, simple mistake, and it was a mistake. The operator that did it's a very good operator. He's been doing this for quite a while. But it happened. Um, it was an accident. So always make sure you have two forms of securement on your steering wheel when you're rear towing so i got seat belt and a ratchet strap if the seat belt comes unlatched the ratchet straps there to save it if the ratchet strap breaks or comes unlatched the seat belt's there to save it so double your chances of not screwing up now I did forget one more ratchet strap and I apologize, but we'll put a ratchet strap on the door so they don't do this. All right, ratchet strap on the door. Really simple. Hook it somewhere up top, go through the handle, and hook it somewhere down around the bottom. Now, there's kind of an overview. You're not securing this thing to keep the zombies out come the apocalypse. It'll move around a little bit, but it's not gonna come all the way open. That's all you're looking for. You don't wanna blow them damn doors off or screw them up or break something. You're just trying to secure it a little bit. Yeah, it'll move, but it ain't going nowhere. So let's go over the overview. We got it loaded up. 
Got a hook from the back. Our light bar's on, door's secure. Um, steering wheel's tied off. Axle is chained up, it's off the ground. Rear end is secured. Rear end secured with safety chains that are not gonna fall out. No matter how much you move them around, they ain't coming out. That's why I use the medium for it. So, hey guys, I hope this video helps. I appreciate everybody's feedback. It's been amazing. I appreciate you guys' patience. Make sure you go to Facebook, like our page. Page is, we got Balkan Training and bctowingsupply.com. Uh, check us out, see the things we have to offer. Apparently I need to offer something for ratchet straps because I can't get them into my truck. Check out our YouTube channel, just search Balkan Training. Make sure you like our channel, subscribe to it. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. If you guys have any comments, good, bad, indifferent, I appreciate it. Some of the things on there, yeah. I get bad comments and it just makes us all better. I don't know everything. I'm not claiming that I know everything. I'm just doing the best I can and trying to help somebody out that could use it. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate you. Y'all be safe out there. God bless. Thanks.